my name is Isaac Webb. I'm the uh, current chair of the Kingsport Chamber of Commerce, and welcome you all to uh, a big day in, in the history of Kingsport, the, the ribbon cutting for the Kingsport Carousel. Normally when we have a gathering like this, I'm supposed to introduce all the uh, uh, VIPs, but the place is full of VIPs, so y'all just shake hands with somebody and life will be good. Thank y'all for coming today. We're, we've got a, uh, a number of people that need to speak, and we're going to start off with Reggie Martin, who's the chair of the Kingsport Carousel. So Reggie, come on up. Thank all of you for that call. How many of you have seen our carousel? Wonderful. Those of you who have not seen our carousel, you're in for a big surprise. It turned out beautifully. And I say that kind of selfishly, but it couldn't have happened without all of our volunteers, our sponsors, our donors, and everybody that supported the project over the six years. What a six-year ride it has been. I was talking to someone a few minutes ago and they said, wow, it seems like it was Matthew Lane, as a matter of fact. He said, it seems like it's been a long six years. I said, yeah, but looking back on those six years today, it happened in a flash. And it did. And it's true what they say. Time flies when you're having fun. And we had fun doing this project. And we owe it all to Gail Yo, who had the spark, the idea of bringing the carousel to Kingsport. It was about this time six years ago that Gail asked me to get involved with the project. I think somehow he knew that he probably wouldn't be around to see it to fruition. But he inspired me to do it. And it's been a great project. Gail was a good friend. The four horsemen started carving the first four horses in January 2010. We had worked uh, at least six or seven months prior to that doing uh, research, planning, and meeting a fantastic person who works for the City Cultural Arts Department, Bonnie McDonald. Bonnie's got to be the most optimistic person I have ever seen in my life or I have ever gotten to know. If you don't know Bonnie, you need to know her. Thank you, Bonnie, wherever you are. All of this could not have happened without over 300 volunteers, our donors and our sponsors, our supporters, working more than 50,000 volunteer hours. And some days at the carving studio, I would have to ask them to leave. I wanted to go home. <laughs> but their dedication, their persistence, their love of what we were doing made this project possible. Today I want to challenge other groups in our city and in our county to do similar projects. Maybe not this big, but I hope that we have inspired you and shown you that if, even as volunteers, if you have a goal and you're dedicated, you can do it. Just think what we can do, what our city, what our county can be if you take that challenge. 
Our carousel is just the beginning. I hope. I hope you'll enjoy our carousel. A lot of people have already ridden on it as we've tested out the machinery, as we've enjoyed hosting our first riders for two days now. I haven't seen a frown on the carousel yet. But I hope you enjoy it. And as, as I've told many people, I would like to see all of the paint worn off the saddles of every animal after a year's time. Suzanne can repaint them, Jesse can repaint them, but wear them out. I think you're going to get a chance to see the carousel after, this present, after the presentations today. I hope you will come back and see it for, uh, for, your, for yourself. Thank you very much. Retired Kingsport Alderman Valerie uh, to, to deliver some remarks. Valerie. Thank you, dear. What a day. How in the world do you thank people who make a dream come true? It's unreal. From the idea that Gail had, yes. Hold it closer. Okay. From the idea that Gail had until his death, he got the ball rolling. But one of the smartest things he did was to ask Reggie to take over when he knew he wasn't gonna make it. I don't know that anyone else that I know would have given 40 hours a week for six years. I told Reggie I think he spent more time at the carving studio than he did at Eastman. <laughs> Let me thank those first that donated to the carousel in Gail's memory after he died. That sort of got the ball rolling, too. I thank all the people that, that gave up their time and their talent, all the volunteers, the artists, the painters. They gave it up free to make it come true. And the over 700 sponsors who made it possible. It's not only a carousel, it's a glorious carousel. It's been a marvelous ride all the way. I'm very proud to be part of it. It's something that will be remembered not only by us, but by generations to come. It'll be in their memory. So I want to thank you all for being involved. I want to thank you all for, sponsor, for helping just everything that you did, including riding it, because that's going to keep it going. Gail would be the happiest man on earth if he were here today. Thank you all. I believe uh, Engage Kingsport had a little something to do with this, and their president and FunFest director, Lucy Fleming, is here to talk to us. The fan club. Woo. Okay, I want to let you know that down at the Chamber of Commerce, there is a huge plaque on a wall, and it's a quote from J. Fred Johnson, and it talks about the spirit of Kingsport and the spirit of this community. And watching this project over six years, we have seen that spirit all over the place. And it has come alive in so many people. There are makers in this community and doers and gearheads and artists who pull the very best out of themselves to make this project work. And they pull the very best out of everyone they came in contact with. And this is a beautiful and amazing project that took talents of all kinds, people who knew how to construct all the woodwork, people who knew how to paint, and they shared, and they shared, and they shared. And that's the spirit of this Kingsport community, and that's the spirit of engaged Kingsport. And for that, I want to thank everyone here who was involved, one way or another. And I think you all should give yourselves a big hand, and thank you, and everybody here, thank each other right now. We can't have one of these things without somebody from Nashville. <laughs> and thankfully, our person from Nashville is really from here. Ann Pope is the executive director of the Tennessee Arts Commission. Ann, why don't you come on? Well, thank you. That's 
quite an introduction. I am from Nashville, but uh, grew up in Kingsport, so it's so great to be home, and I'm really proud uh, for so many reasons to be here today. Proud that uh, we have, uh, our family sponsored one of the, the animals, but proud from the Tennessee Arts Commission in that we were, I believe, uh, the first agency to give the first couple grants. Uh, to, to, to when you had a crazy idea to do this, the Tennessee Arts Commission, I guess, funded that crazy idea and uh, learned that it wasn't so crazy. And I think what we have seen today is what happens when a group of people come together. And uh, Jeff Fleming was, uh, was saying that uh, he thought it was a crazy idea when his uncle uh, decided that he was going to carve one of the first animals and saw himself, uh, he became an artist. And I think that's what a lot of people here didn't know that they had that creative talent uh, within themselves to, um, to do this amazing work that uh, we see here today. And I think that's what happens is we all have that creative talent. And I think that's only fitting that Kingsport is a maker community and that so much has is, is been made here and discovered here with the creative talent that's in Kingsport. And I'd just like to say on, on behalf of the state uh, that we are, uh, this is quite a, a, uh, a um, thing that y'all have done here today. And that I think from what is happened here is you're going to see that this carousel is going to be yet one more thing that Kingsport is known for. It's going to be a brand of your community, I think. And we think it's going to drive economic development, uh, tourism, and many other things for years and years to come. So on behalf of the Tennessee Arts Commission, I'd like to say congratulations and well done. For those of you who don't have a program, we're getting close to the end. That's why they give about a church, you know, before you start. Um, <laughs> This is Workhorse Downtown. Sherry Mosley is the Executive Director of the Downtown Kingsport Association, and nothing happens downtown without their support. So Sherry, come on up. Thank you so much, Isaac. This is my new friend, Casey, and she's gonna tell us what she, okay, sorry, honey. She's gonna tell us what the carousel means to her. I love all the horses, I love the cars, it's so wonderful, I loved it. Okay. As, you can, as you can see, it's going to touch so many lives in our community, people from all walks of life. When my family and I moved here in 2008, the carousel was one of my very, very favorite projects. And when they chose to move it downtown, on a professional level, I knew that it was the right place for it to be. It's truly going to make downtown a destination. Not that it isn't already, but it definitely enhances it. So once again, thank you so much to all the artists, the sponsors. This could not be done without you all. Thank you all so much. Our relatively new city manager, Jeff Fleming, has some more for us now. Thank you. Never doubt that a group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. That quote by Margaret Mead has been sitting on my desk for 30 years. The carousel is an example of all that is good about Kingsport. One person had an improbable idea. Many people came together to take on an impossible task. An entire community rallied around with a remarkable spirit, the Kingsport spirit. The carousel is so much more than bricks, mortar, wood, and steel. It's a work of art and a testament to friendship, commitment, and community. Every piece has a unique, personal, and touching story. And the history of Kingsport is summarized on the rounding boards right before your eyes. It is truly a remarkable project. Just a few short years ago, the Kingsport Press was a closed factory, a constant reminder of glory days. Some said, Let's last one out, turn out the lights, but some didn't give up. Today's Kingsport Press is a hub of downtown activity filled with students, doctors, nurses, diners, shoppers, and businessmen and businesswomen. 
It's the hub of education, the hub of commerce, the gathering place for community events. Think about it. The site has become the hub for Kingsport's future dreams and aspirations, and the carousel is now the crown jewel. But we're not done yet. Robin Cleary of Keep Kingsport Beautiful and Lewis Boswell with the City of Kingsport are working to complete the park that is adjoining the carousel, thanks to a $20,000 grant from Keep America Beautiful and Lowe's corporate headquarters. Labor and maintenance by the City of Kingsport, a complimentary landscape designed by Boehm Landscaping, which you can see to my left, uh, and contributions from our local West Stone Drive Lowe's and contributions from the Hamlet Dobson Tree Fund. We look for the park to come online later this fall and it will offer a free Wi-Fi hotspot also in downtown Kingsport. I can't wait for this facility to be filled with laughter of children, parents, and grandparents, hopefully my own. Kingsport's concluding its first 100 years. I look forward to the next 100 and can't help but feel that we left things a little better for those to come. Thank you, and it's been an honor to serve on Team Kingsport. How long does it take, Valerie? Six years? It six years. It took six years. I well, guess who's been mayor the whole six years? <laughs> Dennis Phillips, he's here to talk for me. It's harder to get up at seven than it was ten years ago. Well, two important things I think are worth noting. When, when Gail said we're going to build a merry-go-round, a carousel, Valerie said when pigs fly. And I said I was going to get a new cell phone, and people said, when heaven freezes over, I have a new phone. My, my flip phone is out. The, uh, I've talked so much about this carousel, I think I'm, I know I'm going to repeat myself, but there is so many people to thank. When uh, Bobby and Pal Barger were talking, and Pal looked at Bobby and said, what do you need to finish your carousel house? And he said, I'll do that for you. And Pal and Sharon Barger stand up. Let me just say one more time. Thank you. There's another story that I've told several times, but it bears repeating. Bobby called me one day and said, we have parks for the carousel, but they're in Connecticut. Bridgeport, Bridgeport Connecticut. And said, how in the world do you think we can get them here because they're gonna give them to us? So I called trucking companies and I called industry and no one had a truck close to Bridgeport, Connecticut. So I walked up to Tom Steele Transfer and saw Gene and Randy Steele. And I said, is there any way that you would have a truck close to Bridgeport, Connecticut? And he said, yes. I don't know how close it was and I don't think he knew how close it was. <laughs> but what I do know is that Gene Steele sent a truck to Bridgeport, Connecticut and hauled the carousel frame back to Kingsport, Tennessee, had his men along with the carousel people unload that right here in Kingsport, Tennessee, which saved us many, many, many thousands of dollars. These And you know, we've, talk, we've talked about a lot of people that, that were involved with Carousel. And I think if Gene Steele had not helped us, I'm not sure we would have had a Carousel. But that's not all Gene Steele does for this community. 
I have never heard he or his family complain about anything. I have never heard them ask for anything. He has not missed a Board of Maryland meeting on TV in many, many years. He's a true supporter of this city. And Gene Steele, on behalf of every citizen of this city, I want to present you with this special key to the hearts of the citizens of Keysport, Tennessee. In recognition for more than 50 years of supporting Keysport, your kindness, loyalty, and friendship is not only very special to me, but everyone who adores you so much. I would like to present you the key this evening. People ask me if I'm going to miss being mayor. I certainly am, but it's for those reasons just like that. Thank you again. Thank you all for making this possible. Thank you for putting up with me for 10 years. This may be my last official act. I understand I have to go to work since it because John's not learned his parts yet. <laughs> he, he's a little slower than we thought, but he didn't get it memorized. So I'm going to go one more time and try to help him. But just keep praying for it. Thanks. <laughs>
inside the carousel that you can sign to say you were here today, and they'll put that up uh, with with some of the remnants from the or from the minute from mementos from today. Uh, as I said before, I'm the, the chairman of the Kingsport Chamber Board. On behalf of that board, I want to thank all of you all for your efforts to get this done. You know, we're a big organization and, and we, we do a fairly effective job, but nothing is Kingsport aside from the volunteerism uh, that, that's represented here in this, in this group today. So again, I appreciate you all. Now, Reggie Martin talked about Bonnie McDonald and being, being energetic and, and all that kind of stuff. So here she is, the Cultural Arts Director of City of Kingsport. Bonnie will now be herding cats. Thank you very much. Well, I've been chasing the carousel for about six years, and I haven't caught up yet. So everyone here knows this unlikely story of our carousel, and everyone here has played a part in, or will play a part in its success. I believe that we've all traveled this road of being enthralled with a dream, doubting the monumental task, and being willing to help out where we could. Our doubt has turned to awe at the selfless generosity and talents of so many people. Finally, today, we share our gratitude for the opportunity to be here to build a community and to get the job done and get it done with excellence. So my job today is to get all of you out there. <laughs> and I have a vision for how this is going to happen. I'm going to communicate it to you. Something else will happen. <laughs> and then it'll be okay. So as I identify the numbers of people, and I'm really going to take a risk here and try to get you all up here, um, that have participated in this, I want you to come forward. And, you know, I have like my most reluctant group first. But without the machinery, the engineering, the MacGyvering, and the miracle making that was the engineers and the people that put together our frame, we wouldn't be riding today, and we will be riding today. So come on up, Eric. Reggie, stand up here on the sides. An amazing group of gift shop volunteers that have jumped in there, Paula. Lynette, come on up, Gail, and gotten us up to speed. We're ready for your business in our gift shop. We have had some amazing leaders along the way, Faye Bowshley led artists who painted benches, wildflowers, butterflies, and background painters. And you need to be moving because we're all going to go out there. So come on up. We had uh, a, an amazing ticket booth that was uh, prepared by Albert Perry and uh, painted by Jesse and has so many creatures on it that you're going to have to come and just study that um, sometime. And of course, we'll ride every time that you come. We had uh, Joanne McDonough and our artists make 24 of the Kingsport's most beautiful birds and put them in place of these horrible uh, clown faces that we got rid of. <laughs> I think they're on eBay. Ellen Elms and Cindy Sade put the history of our rounding boards on our carousel. Suzanne Justice created the most amazing team of animal painters that uh, have really bonded and they will keep putting paint back on those seats. Our four horsemen, they took charge six years ago. They made it possible for other folks to come and join them, including the amazing Joe Pilkington, AKA Buffalo Joe, who shared generously of his talents. out there, Ann Bichon, you come in here. We have sponsors for all over 100 pieces of this amazing carousel. And you know you're going to move, so, uh, okay, you don't have to come up here. And the Tennessee Arts Commission was first on board with an Arts Builds Community Grant. And yes, arts did build this community. Our Public Art Committee, Chairman Roy Harmon, 
was early on in its support. This is an amazing public art program. The board of Engage Kingsport took risks and made it happen. Our elected city leadership, our city staff across the board were always asking, how can we help? And they did. Our city staff, uh, our chamber of commerce, our wonderful neighbor, Food City, business, industry, all of individuals uh, made a part in this. Um, because we didn't want you to stand in the mud outside in the hot sun, we had the speechifying here. And now we're going to move over behind the ribbon. I would like our four horsemen to lead the way, um, our speakers on the agenda to be a part of that ribbon cutting, and Pal and Sharon, we have some huge scissors for you and hope that you'll help us with that. Thank you all. Everybody over here.